does it mean? Sounds like a ritual. Someone's being sacrificed. Just stay close to Sergeant Bono. Take your pictures now before I burn it. Burn it? An authentic effigy of the voodoo tiger god? It's the only thing these superstitious natives understand. Hurry. Bono, where'd they come from? Ingavas, mostly. A few from neighboring tribes. There's no sense talking to them. They're fanatic, blood crazy. One word from a witch doctor, and they'd be up to their ears in voodoo again. Finished, Miss Bruce? Best pictures I've gotten so far. Who's the Sleeping Beauty? Name's Wambulu. Pretty nasty character. Well, he's wasting his talents on voodoo. He could get rich haunting houses. That looks like a tattoo on his arm. It's a mark of a blood brother in the voodoo cult. Listen, Wambulu, you're a troublemaker. We've warned you before. Stay away from voodoo. Voodoo bad medicine. Wambula, high priest of Dambula. Tiger god of voodoo. Voodoo good, not bad medicine. It's against the law. White man's law. The law of the jungle. Wambula, no only law of tiger god. Your tiger god means only one thing. Murder and fear. Maybe this will convince you. We'll do the same thing until we wipe out Voodoo. Take a good look, Bambuli. Kind of trigger happy with that popcorn of yours, aren't you? How do you mean? You could have just as easily hit me as that knife. Oh, I hardly think so, my friend. I seldom miss what I'm aiming for. Bambulu, get your people and get out of here.
Анконка! My name is Peterson, Abel Peterson. I'm Phyllis Bruce. This is Jungle Jim. A pleasure. My associates, Mr. Michael Kovacs, Mr. Jerry Masters, we're camped close by. The drums kept us awake, so we decided to investigate. I'm glad we did. So am I. Why don't you make camp with us tonight? There's plenty of room. Thanks, we will. Good. can be a most decided asset. It's the least I can do. I feel like sort of a fifth wheel on this trip. I've been wondering what you were doing here. I'm a research writer for the British Museum. Oh? Chasing witch doctors? No. Tigers. Aren't you looking in the wrong place? As I understand it, tigers are found only in India. Well, there's no argument about that. But if tigers are indigenous only to India, why do the native tribes here worship a tiger god as part of their voodoo cult? primitive tribes that have never heard of Indian or ever seen a live tiger. Now, either tigers roam this continent somewhere in the dim reaches of the past, or... Or? Or the concept of the tiger was imported along with everything else the white men brought here. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. At any rate, my job is trying to find out which it is. Poor Jim here has had me wished on him by the government. I can imagine having worse things wished on me. Well, thank you. Do you mind if I ask what you're doing in the jungle? Not at all. I'm uh, sort of looking for a tiger myself. Hunting animals? You might say that. What kind? The two-legged variety, Miss Bruce. A rather rare specimen that has so far successfully eluded capture. Oh, you're an anthropologist. No, not really. Though in my own way, I am sort of a collector. Relax. It's one of my men, probably with a message. We must be on our way. Thanks for your hospitality. It's been a pleasure. We'll be moving along ourselves. Nice meeting you, Miss Bruce. I hope we see more of each other. Well, goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Good luck with your two-legged specimen. Thank you. Good luck with your voodoo tiger. Told the passengers about the two-hour stopover at Watusi airstrip to refuel. Good. I don't like it. With plenty of petrol, why don't we go straight through? Orders. The big brass sitting next to the American Army officer is Commissioner Kingston. We're stopping to let him pick up another passenger. Better contact Watusi for landing instructions. Right. Transjungle Airlines, Flight 7 calling Watusi. Transjungle Airlines, Flight 7 calling Watusi. your magazine. Oh, sure. We'll be landing at Watusi airstrip in a few minutes. You better fasten your safety belts. She's going to take a look at her baby. Hello, baby. Take it easy now. We'll be 
be in in just a minute. Right, sir. Good. Oh, there's our party now. Come along, Major. I see you got my message. Sorry to take you off your work, but this is important. Major Green, Miss Phyllis Bruce. Jungle Jim, Sergeant Bono of the police. Major Green is from the Monuments, Fine Arts, and Archives branch of the United States Army. But don't tell me the American Army is interested in voodoo, Major. Not that I know of. Unless it's jet propelled. Oh, not this variety. Strictly four-footed with stripes. Well, Miss Bruce, how's the tiger research coming? Oh, so-so. There's a fine specimen on that plane. Tiger? Mm, very well trained, too. Belongs to some nightclub dancer named Shalimar. Uh, oh, Jim. Yes, Commissioner? Could you tell me the whereabouts of a man named Werner? Carl Werner? Werner? I believe he runs a small trading post. Oh, yeah, I know him. Does he live far from here? A few miles. Could you take us there in the Jeep? A little rough road, but I think we can make it. Good. I hope you know where we are. Me, I'm lost, but good. Unless I'm mistaken, Werner's trading post should be straight ahead. Only a few minutes from here. We'll leave the native boys here and go on alone. Uncle Dalla, Uncle Dalla. Jim, what do you know of this man, Werner? I hardly know him at all. I'm pretty certain he's the man we've been looking for for a long time. Tamba! What are you doing, trying to get me in trouble? Hey, what do you want people to think I'd teach you to steal? <laughs> Listen to me. Put it back here. Put it back here. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, Commissioner. Now, what can I do for you? I'll let Major Green explain that. Major? Mr. Werner, we need your help. Yeah, of course. Anything I can do. During the Second World War, the Chaumont Art Collection, valued at over $2 million, was stolen in southern France and subsequently hidden in Germany. Now, only five men knew where that art collection was hidden. One of them was an SS colonel named Heinrich Schulz. All of the others are dead now. As for Schultz, he's still at large. And we want SS Colonel Heinrich Schultz to show us the location of that hidden Schaumann art collection. A very interesting story, Major, but I don't see how I can help you. Well, I think you can. Colonel Schultz. <laughs> Forget my amusement, Major, but, but this is ridiculous. I'm a respectable businessman here. The commissioner knows me. Everybody knows me. Where did you think up this preposterous charge? Perhaps it isn't preposterous, Mr. Werner. You see, we trail Schultz to Casablanca, then to Johannesburg. There he hired a native guide to lead him through the jungle. That guide has been found, Mr. Werner. He has identified you as the man who employed him seven years ago. The native who has identified me is mistaken. Seven years is a long time. There's a jeep outside and a plane waiting at Watusi airstrip. Come with us, Mr. Werner. You'll have every opportunity to disprove the charge. Since you claim you're not Schultz, you shouldn't have any objections to our taking your fingerprints to match with Schultz's. That won't be necessary. How nice to see you again, Major Green. Pity we have to relieve you of Colonel Schultz. But I think it better 
if he tells us where the paintings are hidden. Who are these men? Three of the slickest crooks in the business. Now, now, Major. Abel Peterson, Mike Kovacs, and Jerry Masters. Specialists in art collections. Other people's art collections. Easy, Jerry, easy. We don't want to hurt anybody, especially these nice people who only a short time ago were our guests. Perhaps the Major is somewhat prejudiced. Prejudiced? You're wanted back in the States, and the Army kicked you out of Germany. You're nothing but a bunch of thieving scavengers. Check that door. It's the storeroom. Good. The guest of honor has departed, and I think I prefer his company to yours right now. Inside, everybody. Look here, you, you can't do this. Shut thing. up and get in there. Well, you heard what the gentleman said. Inside, that means you too. Looks like Werner got away with the jeep. He's probably headed for the airstrip. It'll take hours to batter down that door. You know of a better way? this plane going? North and west, Cairo to Casablanca. When do you leave? Well, it's hard to say. The chief pilot's in the radio room checking the weather. We're waiting for another passenger. You said chief pilot. Don't you fly this plane? Of course, I'm the co-pilot. What is this? Get inside the plane. Wait a minute, you can't do this. Get inside the plane. Just running the motor. What's going on? A few minutes ago, I noticed a man drive up in the Jeep and get in the plane.
There goes two million bucks. I don't think so. What? We've been chasing Schultz for a long time now. The stakes are too high to give up at this stage of the game. But he's in that plane. What goes up must come down. There are only so many places where Schultz can hide. Let's get out of here and back to our men. Bruno, let's try it again. I'm ready. Let me help you. Must have taken the jeep and headed for the airstrip. Change your course. Fly inland. I can't do that. There isn't a landing field inside our cruising range. Change your course. But it's suicide to go that way. My friend, it's suicide for me to go any other way. Change your course. The donuts Werner's on that plane. There's something wrong. That plane is flying in the wrong direction. It's headed inland instead of up the coast. We better get to the airstrip. According to the radar report, the plane crashed in a jungle somewhere near Crescent Valley. Crescent Valley? 
Isn't that the heart of the voodoo country where the headhunters live? That's right, Miss Bruce. It's called the Valley of Headhunters. Even if they live through the crash, it's a safe bet they'll never survive the headhunters. With Werner one of the passengers, we won't be the only ones looking for survivors. You can bet your life that Peterson and his boys will have the same idea. Spotting a plane from the air in that jungle is next to impossible. Jim, will you lead a search party? You can take Sergeant Bono with you. Yes, in case we do locate Werner, the Major here can come along too. And Miss Bruce. Well, you're not going to leave me here. Why, Miss Bruce, it's him, you... Commissioner Kingston, the Foreign Office sent you specific orders to honor my requests, did it not? That's right, Miss Bruce, but Well, I this is my request. I insist on going along to Crescent Valley. Jim? Jim, I'm... I'm sure it'll be all right. I think I'm going to like you, Major Green. Do I go or don't I? Okay, Miss Bruce, you ask for it. I'll make arrangements for supplies. Sergeant Bono. Yes, sir. Let's go. Repeated aerial searches have failed to reveal the exact location of the crashed plane. It is known only that the commandeered transport came to Earth somewhere in the vicinity of Crescent Valley. As was reported earlier, Commissioner Kingston announced from Nairobi that a searching party under the leadership of Jungle Jim has been organized and will move overland in an effort to locate any possible survivors. From England comes news that the House of Commons... Well, he's here now. I understand you can lead us into Crescent Valley. What about the headhunters? Me Wambulu. Voodoo blood brother to the chief of Headhunter tribe. White men safe with me. Good. We'll leave for the valley at once. Wait a minute, Peterson. What about this searching party we've been hearing about all day on the radio? Major Green will be with them. Yeah, and if they get their hands on Schultz, we can really kiss off that money. No worry about other white people. What? Jungle Jim lead government search party. So? Only one way into Valley of Headhunters. Dundee Pass. We get there first. When Jungle Jim come, no worry. Well, it would seem our friend Jungle Jim has a few enemies among the natives. But we're wasting valuable time. Let's pack our stuff and go. Do you ever get tired of beating those drums, Jim? In the jungle, the drums are newspapers, radio, telephone, and Western Union all wrapped up in one. What are the drums saying, Jim? Voodoo talk, all about a great tiger god. You mean the stuffed idols? No, this one's real. A real tiger? Oh, Jim, that's a break I've been looking for, a real tiger. Take it easy. This one came out of the sky, according to the drums. Out of the sky? Why, that's great. They must mean the tiger that was on the plane with Werner. The train tiger that the nightclub dancer used in her act. Shalimar, of course. That's right. If the tiger got out alive, there's at least a chance that the passengers escaped. Could be. Jim, we're on the right track. Yes, but we're not alone. What do you mean? What's left of this campfire, there's another safari on the trail. Headed the same way? Yes, I've been noticing tracks for miles. They're about a day ahead of us, headed for Dundee Pass and Crescent Valley. Peterson and his men. There's no doubt about it. From here on, we keep our eyes open. Let's move on. Bambula was right. 
With Dundee Pass the only entrance to Crescent Valley, all we have to do is close the door behind us and Mr. Schultz will be all ours. Yeah, and two million dollars worth of paintings. If Schultz is still alive. You're so very right, Masters. If Mr. Werner, alias Schultz, is still alive. Wambula, tell your men to be careful. This is a tripwire connected to dynamite. Anyone entering the pass has a very unpleasant surprise in store for them. About 50 tons of rock. Good. I thought you'd be pleased. A sort of present for your friend Jungle Jim. Put some of your men on top of the cliff. If any of Jungle Jim's safari gets through the explosion, tell your boys to make them wish they hadn't. Wambula understand. I'll bet you do. All right, Jerry. Mike, finish covering this wire. When we're through, we'll enter the valley. about this place. I don't know what. It's so quiet. Yes, it's too quiet. That means trouble. Why? When wildlife leaves, it means people have been here. And may still be here. Oh, no, you take the safari up the pass slowly. Where are you going, Jim? The top of this cliff. I want to take a look around. <laughs> Another voodoo, blood brother. Greetings from Mr. Peterson. Where's Tambo? There he is. I wonder what he got into now. Stay here. Take it easy, Tambo. Watch it. Don't do that. You don't want to play with that. More greetings from Mr. Peterson. Dynamite. Oh, he'd stop at nothing, including murder. For two million dollars, I guess he figures it's worth it. A couple of more minutes, we'll be in Crescent Valley. Let's go.
That must be Shalimar's tiger. We're getting close. Camp here and wait for me. You'll follow the tiger? We're in the valley now and head out in country. Stay close to Bono and the natives. I'll be back soon. Tamba! <laughs> Dambula, Graza, Nisi Topo. Dambula, Graza. We go now.
Oginopa. We wait here. Banza Lagona. The headhunters. Go quickly. Now without you. No, they're only going to take me back to their village. I'll be safe with them. Please go. Please. I'll come back for you later. Wow, what a beauty. She must be the dancer on the plane with Werner. Yeah, just like money in the bank. Talk to the chief. Like tickling a rattlesnake under the chin. Wambulu managed to save our necks, but he couldn't spring Werner. Where's Werner? In one of the huts. Good. That, Mr. Masters, is debatable. The chief said we could spend the night here, but in the morning we must leave without Werner. And suppose we don't. These natives aren't particular. They'll even cut off empty heads. Or would you rather join the major and his lady? Stay here, Tamba, till I come back. Get back over there. Follow you, Gnome.
United States Army to the rescue. Welcome to our little jungle paradise, fellow prisoners. I take it the Hoochie Cooch dancer and her tiger saved your heads, too. At least we caught up with you. A lot of good it will do you here. You must be the pilot and the other passengers on the plane. That's right. Outside, the natives obeyed that girl. Why? It has something to do with Shalimar's tiger. The natives worship it, believe it's a reincarnation of their own voodoo god. But what about Shalimar herself? Well, the natives think the girl is some kind of uh, voodoo princess. She even has to take part in their heathen ceremonies, dancing to an idol. Why haven't you tried to escape? Because we're very closely guarded, that's why. Like you are now, like your voodoo princess is. Maybe she's prevented human sacrifice so far, but the natives don't like it. So what, Colonel Schultz? The end of what little power she has should come soon now. <laughs> well, what's so funny about that? To me, everything is funny. There's little to choose between. A trial for my crime, or the quick knife of an African headhunter? Jim, have you ever heard of a voodoo trial? Yes, it's a fight to death between a wild animal and an unarmed man. You can thank that white man, Peterson, for this. I'm sorry, but I couldn't stop it. Tomorrow morning, you'll be placed in a closed-in pen, unarmed, to face a wild lion. You'll have to fight it barehanded. If the lion kills you, We'll all be sacrificed to the voodoo gods. If you win, we go free. You believe that? No, I don't. Whether you win or whether you lose, by this time tomorrow, we'll all be dead. Drums go, dance.
Did you see the pass? Straight ahead, not far from here. What about the headhunters? They're right behind us. You stay with the girls, but keep off the path. Right. Bill, you come with me. This way. The family reunion. I'll tell you about it later. We just can't take these girls any farther. We've got one chance to stop them. You get everybody along the path as far as you can. I'll see if I can booby trap the pass again. All right.
platoon. Tell them to clean up what's left of the headhunters and their voodoo idols. Yes, sir. I'll take care of it right away. You did a good job, Jim. What about Werner? The former colonel is ready to talk. Pity we won't be there to attend his trial. Shalimar and the girls took off for Casablanca this morning. The Major and Miss Bruce should be here by now. United States and England, part of the Lend-Lease Agreement. Tamba, get away from there. Yes, Commissioner Kingston? There is a religious book in the gun. Don't you mind just a minute? Yes, sir. I'll take care of it right away. <laughs> <laughs>